know, life is demanding. Whether you're a student, whether you're a working professional, whether you're a homemaker, or maybe you're a person who's retired, uh, life can be pretty demanding. Mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, it's pretty demanding. And we all get physically tired at the end of the day. And sometimes we wish we had more strength uh, in order to finish whatever we started. And sometimes we wish that we could tap into a supernatural source of uh, inexhaustible uh, source of energy that we would we would always we sometimes think that we could always have the supply of power and strength to complete what we need to do now when we look at philippians 1 and verse 19 we read this for i know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of jesus christ now, Paul uses a very uh, different, very strange word, um, the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. And that Greek word, um, it's a strange choice of uh, Greek that he uses there. It means epikoregio, which means, literally it means, on behalf of the choir. And the origin of that word, uh, uh, epikoregio, is, is like this, that there was a, a drama and a, and a choral team and um, they were actually practicing for a production, for a program. So they were investing a lot of time and effort and putting in a lot of effort uh, for this production. But um, uh, uh, just before the day of the, uh, the production, they, they ran out of finances. So they literally had no money. So everything came to a standstill. standstill. They had no resources, they had no finances. So there was, no, there was going to be no production. But at that time, there was a wealthy, wealthy man who came and said that um, he would make a contribution. And in fact, he made a contribution and this was on behalf of the choir. And the contribution, financial contribution that he made was, was more than enough. And it, was, uh, it took care of all their needs. And in fact, they had so much more uh, uh, surplus after that um, uh, after the need was taken care of. So they went ahead with the production and everything was fine. So, Paul uses that word uh, in order to say that, you know, the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. So, uh, just like this timely intervention by this wealthy man, uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, He supplies us with strength. When we are weak, when we are exhausted, when we are weary, when we, when we seem to think that there is, there's no way out, when we run out of ideas, when we run out of inspiration, when we run, run out of answers, the Holy Spirit steps in and He supplies us with that, that, that supernatural strength, um, that inspiration and so on. So when our strength is down, when our will is weak, when we are exhausted, let the Lord reinforce us with a fresh supply of the Spirit. So we can pray saying, Lord, we don't have enough strength, so we ask for a supply of your Spirit. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that when we reach the end of the road and we think that we've run out of strength, Lord, we know that you will supply us. Lord, that we know that you will give us that strength from your inexhaustible supply and source of strength. And so, God, this today we ask for that strength. We ask that our strength will be renewed like the eagles even as we come to your presence, even as we wait in your presence. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.